In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Decroft runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. We try to get better every single day here on YouTube. And so if you want to join us uh, in that journey, go ahead and click the subscribe button or the follow button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And really the cool part about subscribing is it allows you to know every time we release a new video, right? So if you're maybe missing something or you have a question about something, by subscribing, you're going to be able to know that. So if you haven't subscribed yet and research shows that several of you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so how does Decroft run the best offense in Madden, right? This truly is one of my favorite videos that I get the opportunity to do because it's out of one of my favorite formations in Madden. I ran this formation in Madden, 20, uh, in Madden 15. I was actually playing a friend, and this was on PlayStation 3, and this was, I think it was like Madden 09, or I mean, it was like an older Madden, or no, 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 I'm sorry. It was like Madden 16 on PS3, and uh, we were playing, and I was still running these same plays out of U-Trips, out of Y-Off Trips Pat's Week, and this offense is so, so powerful. It really, truly is, um, and the reason why is because it is the only offense in the Madden uh, world, at least in my opinion, that can consistently give you so many challenges from an alignment perspective, but also have some really, really powerful routes. So we're going to break this down. I'm going to give you two plays that you can use, kind of a, a primary and a, a secondary play that you can use that Decroft used in this game against Fancy, and it really, I think, helped him. I actually honestly think Decroft should have won this game. I feel like Fancy got several um, plays that really should have went Decroft's way, and Decroft just didn't get a lot of breaks, but it definitely overshadowed how good he really is. So we're going to take a look at this offense and share this a little bit with you. We're going to jump over into practice mode. I've got the New England Patriots playbook booted up here for you guys. I've got the, the Bucks on offense so I can get Hot Route Master. Um, and just break this down because there's two routes in particular that really I didn't know uh, going into this that that Decroft ran that made this offense even better than it already was. So uh, we're going to go over two plays today. The first play we're going to be going over, um, we can go over so many plays in this thing, um, but we're going to go over Scat. That's going to be one of the plays that we're going to talk about. Uh, Pat Slot Out, I've talked about that a lot, so we're not going to talk too much about that today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about tight end whip, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, tight end deep out, if I can find it. There it is, tight end deep out. So those are a couple of plays that we're going to have in our arsenal, and then we'll just come out in uh, halfback sluggo. Okay? So first and foremost, if you look at this formation, you're going to notice that there's one thing that I think sh that should um, just jump off of the, off of the uh, tongue with this offense, and that is this. That if I base align my defense, you're going to see um, that it's going to basically, uh, especially if I'm in zone coverage, you're going to see here that if it's zone coverage and I base align, you're going to see this right here. Now, if I unbase align, you see that it's going to look like this. If I man align, it looks like this. Um, if I base align and I go to man coverage, what you'll notice is it looks like this. This is base aligned man coverage. So you see, if I'm base aligned, it looks like this. And one thing I just want to point out to is watch what happens whenever I motion. You'll notice that whenever I motion in a baseline type of setting, nobody's going to move, right, until he gets all the way over here. So that's just something to kind of think through a little bit because what Decroft understood about this offense, and he used this over and over and over again, it doesn't matter what um, he's doing, he's going to use this, this motion right here. This motion right here is the whole reason why you run this offense. The ability to constantly give yourself, give yourself um, a leverage advantage through motion is really what I think Decroft was after um, as he was building his offense. So, all that to say, I want to go through uh, just two plays in particular. The first one's going to be scat, and the second one is probably going to be tight end deep out. Okay, and they, they both use motion. So, scat, how do you run this, and, and, and really what would you do? What I would do is this right here. I would double drag. So we're going to put the running back is going to be on... We're going to block the running back, or what I would do is put him on a wheel route. Either one of those two, right? We're going to drag both the tight end and the uh, slot receiver, Brown. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Mike Evans and put him on a fade. And the reason why is basically what we have is we have two underneath reads, and then we have a post route, and then we have a route that if he beats press coverage, as Mike Evans does a lot, you can get this route out there. And Decroft would do this. Decroft would hit these fades like crazy. Um, Decroft, in my opinion, one of the things that he does really, really well, out of scat, you don't even need to put the running back on a wheel route. I forgot he's already on one. But you'll see here that these drag routes get um, almost unbumpable, especially because of the motion snap. Because of the motion snap that Decroft is using, these drags, a lot of times, they won't get pressed. And when drags don't get pressed, good things happen for the drags. If you watch here, I'm pressing coverage. Pressing coverage. But if I snap it right here, you're going to see that these drags get unbumpable. And then Decroft can basically go to work with the air truck to the tight end or he can obviously playmaker uh, with the slot receiver. So those are two things that he can do that are really, really, really important. Now, the other thing is that he's got this post route from Scat that is really, really good. So he can time the snap as well with this. If he wants a little bit more space, you know, obviously he can bring it out. But this route beats man coverage to the inside, as you can see right there, completely unbumpable. So if they are doing what a lot of people in the Madden community are doing right now, where they're shading their coverage outside, and they're shading their coverage underneath, this is a really, really good offense for that because the motion snaps uh, really prevent press coverage from happening. You're going to get at least three people that are going to be uh, pretty much unbumpable no matter what, and as you can see, these routes just get wide open in that scenario. Now, the next play that I want to go over is a play that Decroft ran um, a lot in his game, not against Fancy, but I, th I think it was his game against Free the Penguins, but it's this tight end deep out. Now, the way that Decroft runs this um, is really designed more for like a cover zero. You know, like if they're doing like the shade coverage that a lot of people want you to do where they're putting purples out there to stop crossing routes. That's where this route comes in handy for. But essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to take the running back. I like to block him. You don't have to do that. Um, and then we're just going to essentially play a curl flat concept here on the back side. So we're going to out to the tight end. We're going to have a curl route to Godwin. You see it just like this right here. And then we're just going to snap this ball, you know, right about here. And what you'll see is, again, if you, you know, NSC, you probably won't see it right here. But if you, if, you, if you time the snap right on that motion, and there's a lot of things that have to go in your way, right? There's a lot of things that have to go right for you on this play. But if you're in mutt, if you have good receivers that have good route running, all of those little factors... This can be a really, really good play. And I believe it does take all of those factors, right? Um, but you'll see here, like if I snap him like right in here, you'll see he's going to run. And then I have a chance to basically lob this over the top. Now, Mike Evans isn't fast enough for this to work. But Decroft was doing this with Randy Moss. And so it was a lot easier to get this over the top. But what I want to focus in on really is one final setup for you out of this play. And it's from tight end deep out even. Um, it doesn't have to be from tight end deep out. It can be from really any play. It can be from pass slot out. It can, it can be from anything. But we're going to use tight end deep out. And that is the crossing route from the slot receiver. So if I take Godwin and I put him on a crossing route, you'll see here he's on a crossing route. And then I'm going to take Antonio Brown and I'm going to put him on a corner route. And then the running back will go on a little check and release, a little block and release, a little flat route, really anything over the middle. And then the tight end um, is simply going to go on an out route pretty much every single time. This route right, this route combo right here is really hard to stop. Because of the alignment that you get from this formation, this corner route is going to be open every single time. No matter what happens, that corner route will be open every single time against man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that you're going to be able to do now is because you've ran, um, because you have this, this crossing route to the, to the slot receiver, right, then now what you're going to be able to do is this slot. This this slot's going to have an advantage. He has inside position. Look at that. Look how wide open that slot is against man coverage. You pretty much have to use the slot to stop the man coverage, right? So you pretty much have to use the slot um, if you're running some type of man coverage. And then the next thing that you're going to be able to do from an offensive perspective is if you wanted to, you could even drag Mike Evans. If you wanted to drag Mike Evans, you could do that. Um, and then you could just you could basically streak the tight end. You could do you could do something like this right here, right? This is not a bad setup, um, especially if you have playmaker on that far right receiver. Like you see here, that the drag can really open up um, against zone, 
uh, and it's going to help a little bit with that. But the way Decroft, that's not how Decroft was running it. I want to talk a little bit about how he was running it. But anyways, against zone coverage, what you're going to see, so you have your crossing route, your corner route, and then really even your tight end out route against against man. Now against zone, uh, what you're going to have is basically pretty much all of those three. So um, you're going to see, once again, we're going to run this. Now this is zone coverage. This is a Mabel coverage, right? Uh, and if you take a look here, this route to Brown, this corner route on the sideline, is better than it's ever been. Better than it's ever been because of the patches, because of the way that the game has been patched. A lot of people, um, the corners don't defend corner routes very well anymore. So you can run this little um, slot apprentice corner right here, or hot route master corner, uh, and then you can have this little setup in behind it. Now, obviously, if they cover it, you're not going to throw it. So now you're going to work this backside. And this crossing route, because it's motioned over, it gets in a really tender spot. Now, right there, it was a bad pass lead. But you can get that over the top of the defense. Another thing that you can do, like I talked about before, is let's say that you are running against someone who's running a lot of zone coverage. Then maybe not run the running back on a flat. Maybe run him on an option route. This is another one of my favorite little tactics, is, is if I'm facing someone that's running... Uh, something like that, then I could go to something like this, and now we can get them stuck, right? Now we can get them stuck. But these are a couple of his setups that I thought were really, really, really good. Um, one of the things that you would also see from time to time is you could see something like this being a thing, like basically dragging the tight end, you know, blocking the running back, something like this right here is another popular setup. And this is really good against man as well because the tight end drag will oftentimes beat man-to-man -man coverage. So all that to say, that's a little bit about how Decroft runs the U-Trips offense. Now, if you want to get my version of the U-Trips and really my version of the entire New England Patriots offensive playbook, that link is in the description of this video. I believe it's the best offense in Madden 21, the best playbook um, in the game. It has trips tied in, it has bunch, it has U-Trips, ace slot offset, split close, and on and on and on we could go. The, the Y off trips pass is such a good formation, guys. I can't stress that to you enough. So if you want to get that full offense, that link's in the description. Also, if you wanted to get a free sample of the offense, including a one-hour breakdown of the U-Trips formation itself, that link, or um, that is in my text message membership. So all you got to do to get that is just text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. And again, I was just really, really a big fan of Decroft, so much so that I've tried to study this U-Trips formation a lot. Um, and try to learn as much as I can about it. So that being said, if you want to get that full New England ebook, that link's in the description. It's been very successful and has helped a lot of people on the offensive side of the ball. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream.